chamber is not currently in session, so I don't have a lot uh, really to report on. Uh, I think looking back at the last meeting, we had discussed redistricting at some point. Uh, the chair uh, of the Independent Redistricting Commission was reinstated. Um, the, they may vote on final maps as soon as uh, they put it out that they could vote by the end of this week, but that's uh, highly unlikely, um, possibly by the end of the year. Um, there are, within the legislature, there's talk of uh, how they might change the Independent Redistricting Commission, but that's not likely to happen between now and the time the final maps go in. And uh, also, uh, as far as the state's budget, uh, revenues, some, uh, going along with what Mr. Walmer said, state revenues have been increasing. Uh, last fiscal year, the legislature chose not to do anything about the $300 million deficit just to carry forward a negative balance and then have a $300 million surplus this year. Well, that $300 million surplus this year that was supposed to offset last year's $300 million deficit, when they closed books on last year, we actually had a balanced budget. We didn't have that deficit we thought we would. So that's given us essentially a $300 million surplus, um, plus another $200 million in extra revenues that the state was not expecting that's going above and beyond. Um, the bad news is part of the reason why the state is getting those extra revenues is because of such high foreclosures, there aren't as many people who have mortgage interest to deduct from their taxes so they're paying higher income tax because they don't own homes. But um, some of it has to do with the economy recovering, but some of it is that as well. So. Um, the state has a half a million dollar, I'm sorry, half a billion dollar budget surplus, it looks like, for this fiscal year. Um, the, um, I, I think when the legislature comes into session, what they, in January, what they've been saying is that they want to mostly put that money away into rainy day funds or to pay down the debt that the state's incurred, maybe buy back the state capital if there aren't any prepayment penalties on doing that. And, um, and I don't expect there will be a lot of, and, and just echoing what I've heard from the new Senate President, Steve Pierce, um, that there's not an expectation that anything will be restored, but that hopefully there won't be further cuts this year beyond what there were past years. I'd like to make a comment on uh, another political topic, which is the new comprehensive teacher and principal evaluations. Um, I, I want this board to be prepared that we would have to adopt the new evaluation system probably by the end of May. Um, but in statute, the new, um, the new evaluations would have to be used next school year. There is some conversation about a possible extension, um, but I, I just I want this board to know that it's just talk and it's not and the legislature isn't signal they would be interested in extending it at all. I want us to make sure that we keep marching forward and we're prepared to go ahead. Um, one other question I have is, I'm sorry, Bill, so do you have an update on what's going on with No Child Left Behind? I know that there was a talk of waivers being given. Um, so yesterday at the State Board of Ed, uh, Stacey Morley from the department, uh, I guess, uh, presented uh, a small thing to the state board saying that they were that Arizona was applying, um, but I, I don't really know any of those details. Any other points? Okay, future agenda items. Uh, I, uh, Brooke Tolls Johnson, who is the uh, regional director for Central Phoenix First Things First was supposed to give us an update tonight about uh, things that First Things First is funding here in our region. Uh, she wanted to wait until after they have their funding plans more complete. Uh, I had not realized that we weren't doing the first and third Tuesdays in January. I had told her the meetings were the third and the 17th. I see that they're the 10th and the 24th. So. Um, I can see if she can come on the 24th, since it looks like we have two other things on the 10th and nothing on the 24th. Sounds good.
have our board study session. So. Mm -hmm. Move, Doug, and board adjourn. Second. 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 Second.